Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we are Cimarron and Logan dealers. And what I've got right behind me is actually a used Cimarron Freedom. Um, these are one of the highly sought after Cimarron Freedoms. There's not a whole lot of them running around out there. When we built these, we did kind of a run of them um, in two different sizes. So this is the smaller one with the 13 foot short wall, 16 foot garage. And then we did a bigger one with a 16 foot garage and a 16 foot short, or short wall. So when we built these, all of a sudden COVID hit, we had a huge rush on trailers and our inventory levels plummeted. Um, everybody just ended up buying absolutely everything that we had. So a lot of the orders that we were getting for our living quarters were just going straight to the customers. So we haven't been able to reorder these for inventory just yet. I think if inventory catches up at some point, you'll see us order some different variations of these Freedom models because they have become so extremely popular over the years. But for those of you that are wanting to check out this one, um, this is actually one of the first ones that was ever built. It was either the first or second off the line. Uh, so you're going to see some really cool features on this trailer. It's not your standard gooseneck toy hauler. This is a toy hauler that is built on a horse trailer frame with our outlaw conversion. So this is a trailer that we could actually foresee running down the road for 20, 30 plus years without issues, just like our horse trailers. One of the biggest problems that we were facing when we decided to create these Freedom models was that the toy haulers in most industries are not put together quite as well. We know the longevity of our horse trailers. We know that somebody can get in and roll down the road with these. I mean, they have to do their regular maintenance, but um, they're meant to last for an extremely long period of time whereas maybe you only get a couple of years out of a toy hauler before it's starting to rumble apart. So we knew there was a market for this, something really high quality, and I think that people have really been happy with the result. So some things under here that I want to talk about. You've got your 30 pound propane bottles. Uh, we tried to outfit these with uh, slightly bigger tank sizes, um, bigger propane bottles with the ability for people to maybe boondock a little bit longer. It's not likely that they're gonna be in town with these trailers. They're gonna probably be out on the road um, a little farther from town. So we wanted people to have a little bit more self-sustainability. So those bigger propane bottles were a must have. This electric over hydraulic jack um, is something that we put on almost every single one of our living quarters. I don't know if I remember building one ever in my life without an electric over hydraulic jack. Just goes up and down at the touch of a button. Super simple to use. You've got your spare tire here. Even the spare tire has the standard aluminum wheels. Um, every Cimarron built gets the standard aluminum wheels. You've got other wheel upgrade options if you wanna go that way. But we just did these black spokes. Uh, we did these Freedoms in three different colors. So you'll see running out there We've got a silver metallic, a black, and a white. This one is the white one with the black wheels. And I think people were really happy with how this turned out. A lot of people think this is the battery under here. It's not. This is actually the Xantrax inverter. So we did the Freedom Series Xantrax inverters on these. So if you're out uh, using this trailer and you want to run everything essentially but the AC unit, you can do it through that inverter off those batteries. Inside you'll see we've got the upgraded lithium ion batteries that we'll go over, but they work really well with this inverter. It's really, really awesome that you can go out somewhere, use all your lights, your TV, your microwave, all of, off of this inverter um, without having to carry around a generator with you. Now on that bigger model, the 16 foot short wall, we did include an Onan 7000 gas generator. These ones, a lot of people were just getting those little portable generators, throwing them in their garage area, and then they, they take them out whenever they need to use them. So we've got a fueling station on this trailer, so it makes fueling those little portables really, really simple. Um, you can see in this inverter box here, 
everything is really well labeled. If you have a technician working on this trailer, they're going to know exactly where they need to go uh, to, get, to get the problem sorted out. Outlaw also owns the specs for, or has all the specs for every single trailer they've ever built. So if you have a tech working on these trailers, they can give Outlaw Service a call and they can tell you exactly where you need to go to find um, any solutions to your problems. We've got a remote battery disconnect switch right here. We've also got one in the house. So we've got two ways to kind of turn everything off. And then the inverter itself has its own on-off switch, um, which is really nice. Super, super great use of space under here. It's so funny, everybody always thinks that's the battery. <clears throat> There's a reason we didn't put the batteries outside. They're lithium ion batteries. And if you guys know anything about lithium ion batteries, they're really cool batteries. But uh, they, they do need a little bit warmer environment to live in than your standard uh, RV batteries. And they don't really like the cold. so. Once they get warmed up, um, they're a lot happier. We keep them in here where we've got the furnace uh, to keep them a little bit warmer. Those batteries are right down below here. We've got three on this one, and then the ones with slide outs, we did four batteries. We've got plenty of power on this. We had these trailers fired up for a whole weekend, running everything off that inverter um, when we first got these in and they lasted through the whole weekend just running off those batteries. So those lithium ion batteries um, by Lion Energy, they last a lot longer than a typical RV battery. They have a lifetime warranty on them. Um, and then another cool thing is they've got a battery management system. So if you have wacky power coming into your trailer or they get too low, they will actually turn themselves off. They have a power button on them so you can just turn them back on. You can check the battery life of each battery on there. There's a lot of things you can do on these Lion Energy batteries. Um, one of the really cool things about it though is we live in a cold climate here and even though these batteries don't love cold, um, they won't have the same issues that you have with those marine grade batteries where if they get too cold and they're dead, you've pretty much killed those batteries. So these will turn themselves on and off at the switch of a button. It makes for a lot more longevity in your battery life. Your inverter controls are right here. Um, so you can go through there and you've got basically um, everything in the system is tied in. If you had, an, had a generator on this one, um, it would run off that, but you can kind of see the charge that's coming in and going out right there. Any faults will show up in the system. We have a tutorial that we can walk you through um, since this inverter system is a little, a little bit more than just turning it on and off. This is the same inverter that we use on a lot of those big buses, so it's a really, really good inverter. You've got a TV on a swivel up in the nose right there, so you can swing it around and watch TV if you're sitting on this couch here. Queen size bed up in the nose, and you've got a little bit more headroom than you do on a standard trailer. This trailer is actually 7'10 tall, so kind of like some of our, or sorry, this one is 7'7 seven, tall, kind of like our horse trailers, so you're not just going to be sitting straight up in bed and conking your head right there. You've got some nice closets in the back. They're not very deep because of that nose, but it is a nice place to stuff some extra clothes. And then lots of storage up above. And what you'll notice is on these outlaw conversions, it's all hardwood cabinetry. Um, we have many different stain options, many different wood selections that we can choose from. Outlaw has its own cabinetry shop and they can they custom build all of these cabinets for these trailers so everything is is dry fit laser leveled refit you're not just going to see them tacking up trim to cover any imperfections it's a really really amazing woodwork that outlaw does little trap doors anywhere they can find storage they will find additional storage on these trailers this sofa right here folds down into a bed And then something we did on these 13 foot short wall ones is we did these little RV style sinks here. Just a little bit of space saving design. You've got a two burner kicktop with a little stainless sink. 
we see these on a lot of our a lot of our vans that we do. Um, more storage up top here. So even though you're in a 13 foot short wall, you're really easy to maneuver this trailer around, but you've still got lots and lots of storage. Over here on this side, you've got a big Dometic fridge and freezer. They're separate. You don't have to worry about cramming everything into a little tiny space. And then you've got the microwave up above here. We've got a, um, a little sliding door here for the bathroom. I really like the separation on this trailer from the bathroom and the garage area. We see a lot of trailers where we won't have a, a partition wall here between the two. And personally, having a motocross racing husband, I've slept in a lot of vans with dirt bikes down below, and those fumes will just drive you crazy at night. So it's really nice to be able to keep a solid door between you and your toys. Um, if you've got kids, you can always throw them back here. We've got it braced for an AC unit. We have a little Max Air fan in the back. And what's really nice is you can close this door, close that door right there, and then if you've got wild kids, you can throw them back here and, and you can actually get some sleep at night, but they still have access to the bathroom and trailer. So in the bathroom, we've got a little, little radius shower here. There we go. A little cold this morning. Skylight up above for those people that are a little bit taller. Big medicine cabinet here. There we go. And then you've got a single leg table in this closet here. A lot of people want to know what's right right down underneath this single leg closet or underneath this this closet here and that's actually your water tank. So usually we would do them under the nose but we have the ability to put a nice big water tank right down there. It's a little closer to your axles, the weight's going to be a little bit better there. And then on this trailer we talked about how we wanted the ability to boondock for a little bit longer. So we did bigger black and gray tanks. Standard is 29, 29. These are 39 and 39. So they're custom um, gray and black tanks on this trailer. This is a, si a 16 foot garage here. Um, on our, our bigger units, the ones with the slide outs, you're gonna have a, a generator here in this corner. But for these smaller ones, we opted not to go that route. We did do a 50 amp, ser amp service. So if you did wanna add a second AC unit, um, it is braced for it and ready. And then we've got two sofas here. These will roll in over into beds as well as you can get them nice and flat against the wall here. Really nice little option there. You can have additional seating area but also additional places for kids or adults to sleep. And then a lot of people really love these cabinets here. Um, they're stainless. They've got lots of hooks below them, big shelf. Uh, and then we ran these airliner cargo tracks along both sides of the wall. I really like this track here. You've got it down on the, on the floor as well. And what's really nice is you can get lots of different attachments for this track, just off Amazon or through a supplier. So you don't just have to worry about um, certain hooks to hook up your vehicles. You can hang a lot of different options up there. We've got a nice big shelf here in this corner. And then right over on this side, we've got a cool little workbench that just pops off here. Really nice to use. And then you've actually got an additional entrance into the trailer here on the passenger side. It's got a fold down step, little screen door on it. So you can get in and out of the garage area without having to track mud and dirt through your living quarters. Another thing we did on this trailer is this floor system here. It's that, that rubber, rubber texturized flooring. It's seamless, so it's really easy to keep clean. Uh, it goes all the way down onto your ramp, so you've got some nice good grip and texture. It's much better than the ice that's surrounding this trailer today. And then something that this customer did after the fact, 
is they did a ramp extension on this. Just gives it a little bit more, less, less angle to get up um, and down this trailer. Just makes it a nice smooth entrance in here and then it just folds right over. The ramp is cable assist, so it's really easy to pick up and down. You don't have to worry about getting two people to throw this rear ramp up. And then one of my favorite features on these, these uh, Freedom trailers is that spoiler. When I first asked our technician why we did that, he said it makes you go really fast. But it actually helps a lot to keep that, that dirt and debris that swirls at the back of the trailer from going, getting sucked back in through this big ramp door here. So as we work our way around here, you've got your fueling station. This is really great. You can um, fill everything up right here. Just pull up to the side of your trailer. It's a 50 gallon fueling station. Um, the fuel fills right here. You've got a little gas nozzle inside here. And then on this trailer, we're running on two 8,000 pound rubber torsion axles. We did some things on these axles to get a little bit more clearance. We rotated them 22 and a half degrees down and we blocked this trailer three inches. So you'll notice you're a lot higher off the ground than one of our horse trailers. We figured a lot of people are gonna be taking these into a little bit rougher country. So we wanted the ability to get those, get those um, that trailer off the ground a little bit higher, give you a little bit more clearance. And this spread is gonna help really get that weight off the tongue of your trailer. So, looks really cool, but also has some nice added benefits to it. On this side here, you've got your city water connection as well as your fuel fill for your fresh water tank. Kind of the access to the back of your furnace and fridge. And then this is where you would plug in that 50 amp cord um, for some power there. This trailer is really, really sleek looking. This is a used trailer, it's a 2020, but I think that they did a really good job taking good care of it, um, pulling it down the road for a couple of years, and yet it's still in really, really great shape. So we love getting these Freedoms in on trade since we didn't have the ability to build a lot of them right when they got popular. Um, we've been taking care of customers since then. Uh, we like it when these come back in on trade so somebody doesn't have to wait quite as long if they're, if they're needing one right away. <clears throat> if you guys are wanting to check out this trailer, we've got it listed online. You can always look at the stock number here. It's a 2020 Cimarron Freedom. The stock number for this one is 5U221662. If you want a 2024 model, we are able to build you one. You can have it spec'd custom between our Outlaw and our Cimarron portion. If you need to add up to three inches at a time in increments to your living quarters or garage area, you can do that. If you want different cabinet stains, if you want a dinette instead of a sofa, maybe a slide out, onboard generator, these are all things that we've done. Cimarron and Outlaw, we build custom trailers. So that's one of our favorite things to do is get these customers into trailers of their dreams that they really want and love. If this is the right trailer for you, it's sitting here, ready to roll. Um, you can always give me a call. My name is Callie Say. The best way to get a hold of me is my cell phone. That's 970-309-6368. Um, you can call or text at that, at that number. If you guys have any questions, I've spec'd out and built a couple of these freedoms and I think that people are super happy with the construction. So thank you so much for taking a tour with us today. I appreciate it. I hope everybody has a really great day.